Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, prepare for one of my worst made videos because of very poor planning. <laughs> well anyway, today, without my usual intro, I'm painting up the last model in the Slaneshi box, the Chariot, which I can't remember what it's called right now, but I, a few <laughs> things. This is probably the mm, one of the most annoying models I've model kits I've ever done. It's the second worst because the building took me around three days of agonizing strain to make these things because the not wheels, these giant meat grinder things in the back are so tedious to make and paint or well to build really that it took me a long time to get to this point. And of course I prime it with uh, Bright Touch General Purpose car primer, gray color. But man, it took a long time. This is a very tedious build. Uh, it's very straightforward, sort of, but it it, it takes a while, really a long while. After it is primed, we then move on to the pre-coat. So with Eshing Gray, Celestia Gray, and White Scar White, we're going to do the pre-coating. So Eshing Gray, airbrush from the bottom, because I'm not brushing this on. All these spikes and stuff makes things very, very difficult. So for this, airbrush is key. And then with Celestia Gray, I airbrush this from the top down. And then with White Scar White and a good dry brush, I dry brush it on. Now, one thing I'm going to note, there's a lot of blades and spiky things on this, and part of my brush got damaged, like hairs got pulled out because of the way the shape of the spikes and spokes are, that they like caught onto the brush at certain angles and ripped out some hairs. So just FYI that uh, your brush that you're going to use is going to take some damage doing this. Alright, so why I say this is one of my worst made videos, so basically when I was looking at this I was like, oh, you know what, I've already done the Daemonettes and I've already done the Seeker Beast thingies, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do them first out of the way because I have two videos that basically cover them, well, two for the Daemonettes, one for the Seekers, and I'll just focus on the Chariot. I really didn't think this through because after getting them done and looking at the Chariot, I realized that there's nothing on the Chariot. <laughs> And now with Liquitex Gloss Varnish, Rune Fang Steel, the air version, that's the only good version, don't get the regular version, get air. And then with Liquitex Acrylic Ink, Carbon Black, I'm going to do the metal. So with a mix of the Gloss Varnish in with the Rune Fang Steel and darken with the Carbon Black, not a full drop, well, like, you have to mix it in slowly because the black is very powerful. And then we add water to make it flow better. The water will allow us to be able to see the uh, pre-coating and pre-shading underneath. And so we then apply this all over the frame in the metal. And uh, man, it is very annoying to do. Uh, use an old brush for this, uh, since the technique we're using is basically washes, and so it's not important for it to be perfect. Uh, this brush is going to get damaged, just getting caught on some hairs here and there. And now with black and magenta paint and mineral spirits, we're going to create some washes. Very thinned washes. Uh, probably the thinnest I've ever done. And I'm going to apply the black all over to fill in the recesses and such. And then I'm going to wipe a little of the excess away with a sponge. And I completely forgot to take recording of the magenta I thought I did. And basically I apply very thin wash in magenta, just as thin as the uh, black wash. And I put it all over the metal, or the frame. And so there's dark brown in it, or there's black in it, and then there is purple. And then we wipe it away. And then what I did was, so it wasn't light enough, not bright enough at places, so I took a dry brush and put some mineral spirits in it, made it damp, and I basically like dry brushed the mineral spirits on and it cleaned off uh, some of the wash towards the tips and the edges to make things brighter.
Now, if we take a close look at this, overall, so the metal there is dark where there's dark, but there's also a hint of purple in there in some places. However, the overall shine of the metal is not bright enough, and it, it looks lackluster. That's essentially it. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to go with Runefing Steel Air, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to dry brush it on. I apply it onto a palette and then make sure the dry brush is fine and then I just dry brush the outer edges and tips and this really picks out the details. A, a very high quality uh, dry brush is key. I use Army Painter. Uh, so far I recommend them as, well I haven't really tried that many others so I have a very small pool, but they're cheap and they work good. So, And also... I completely forgot to get footage of this. Oh my goodness, this project has been so ridiculous. Oh, this is the worst video I've ever made for a tutorial. <laughs> well then, oh my god. So I just assemble the model, essentially, bit by bit, piece by piece, using uh, model glue, because it has a longer work time and a lot of these things are kind of fidgety uh, to get in. I don't want it to immediately glue hard in there. I want to be able to put it on and organize or reorient it. It's because of the cavalry the way they are. They're put into like these hoop rings. Well, uh, I'm done. <laughs> oh, God. I, uh, man, I... Wow. <laughs> so, there are a few things behind the scenes. It doesn't excuse it, but like this particular model kit is incredibly difficult to do. The only model kit I've done that's harder than this is the Venar Venari Dawn Riders. That's for the painting reasons, but for this, uh, everything was like going wrong constantly. Because the model's uh, pieces and connections are so thin that like it sort of breaks my workflow and I forget what I was doing and stuff. And so this is a hard project essentially to organize. Now, I thought I was being smart and clever by not showing the Demonets and the Seekers, but really, uh, I ended up forgetting most of the other stuff. And... I wanted to do a quick video like a uh, presentation of this because sometimes the pictures don't really catch the goodness of it and so overall assembly of the model is also difficult because the daemonettes are a little hard to get onto to stick onto there and I assembled it wrong in some places and I had to break and re-glue some areas on and then I had to patch up the model a lot with silver and brown uh, some places and so parts of it look really good and other parts look really bad and I can't show you it because I didn't get the footage in the first place, oh my goodness, this is probably the, yeah, if this video gets disliked heavily, I understand. <laughs> I have to watch the first two to really understand what was happening, but essentially, uh, it's just quick, simple metals, there's not really much to it, it's just a lot of tedium, but building the model is very irritating, it's also painful to paint because those spikes on there actually are spikes, they hurt to hold the model, especially if you're doing rough dry brushing on there. Uh, the base I've done in the Daemonettes, and it's just the same thing, just a larger base printed by me, although I did make a mistake and make the base essentially not, it's not, it's the correct size base-wise, but like the top part where the model goes on is too small, and so this model is barely fitting onto the base. It's super glued on, but it's barely fitting on. And, yeah, um, well if I rated my work on the video, uh, 0 out of 10. Or 3 out of 10 are probably fair. But as for the model, I did make some big mistakes with assembly and had to patch it up. Honestly, a 7 out of 10. Uh, the model itself is a bit lackluster, though. The metal, I mean, I added depth, I added shine, it has like a lot of color in it. You can see the details of the spokes and different things like that. Uh, all these small sort of things here and there, you can see that there's depth in the metal, the colors and stuff, but it's still dull, and I find it cheap just to splatter blood everywhere on it when it really would just detract from the model. Maybe it would add some more focus to the back uh, slicer things, but nah, this is a... Uh, it's okay. Uh, but a 7 out of 10. And not just because of the video stuff, but ugh. Well, like the video if you actually did like it, dislike it if you disliked it, and more to come. Uh, wow. Alright, see you soon. Bye.